it is hot, sticky, and mosquitoes out. And it seems to be a very good day for a bike ride. Welcome to the ride, guys. All right, so today we're at Lock and Dam, and you know I want to do something really local, cause for the fact of the matter, we got dialysis later on, so we can't stay too long. However, this is one of the places I like to come ride where it's nice and shady and it's not crazy there's not a whole bunch of traffic a lot of stuff to do and a lot of scenery to be seen here here I'm gonna take you up to the locks actually if I can get up there I think I can well I can it's just gonna take a little bit of ingenuity all right so after jumping the curve here of course a lot of people like to come up here and go fishing. Typically because the locks is actually opened just enough. And let me live right up here. Where you can see some of the some of the wildlife. Look, you can see some of those turtles right there. Like right there. There's some turtles right there. If you can see them. And with all this vegetation being right here, a lot of the fish like to come up and hang out right where the shade is at. Come here, let me show you. Ugh. 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 So typically, since they leave one of the locks open, sometimes they'll come through right there at the end over here, if you can see where I'm at, right there. And they'll float through here and kind of just hang out around the shady areas. I guess somebody's working on the, the lock itself over that way, but come on, let me actually show you the front gates. So we're here at the front gate, right here, front gate. And like I was telling you, a lot of people like to come through here and actually just sit here because here's the running water where the actual floodgates are. We can't go back there, but you can kind of see it right there. They'll come through here and it's just really quiet and shady. And the water temperature, I think, is a little different right there, too. So, you'll have people come and fish. And, well, let's just say this is how you catch your dinner in the afternoon. Come on, I want to show you something else. Ugh, okay. So, we're snaking on by up this way. I want to show you something else. What's up, fellas? Excuse me. Okay. Ugh. This is probably the part that I'm not going to like. And I don't think I'm going to attempt to jump my bike down there. But okay. So we made it over here to the latter part of where the locks and the uh, floodgates are. And I actually think I can get a good view over that. Oh, I'm just going to depart my bike right here. Although it is very tempting to jump that. It really, really is tempting. That's a long fall. So this is the part where I was telling you at, where the floodgate is open. And this area right here is just for fishing, right? But if you look that way, you can kind of see where the floodgates are for the dam. And, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, this is where the fishing is at. Check that out. Now that high stream area right there, you'll have some kayakers actually go up there and anchor down right here where the buoys are at and literally catch them coming out of that high stream area. I don't think we were fortunate enough to catch them today, but okay, let's go down here a little bit. Oh, I'm kind of, my bike's kind of blocking the way, but yeah, yeah. 
So this is another area where people are often come and fish and you know let me show you like when I tell you this is like like the best spot to come actually fish they even have these little hooks right here where you could just leave your hook line and leave it so you can bring more than one pole so the idea here is you're still sitting in the shade minus the extra junk with trying to find a good spot and you ain't got to worry about no wolves or sharks or alligators or no shit like that coming up this way. Uh, especially if you're in the shade. And then you can see the main area back over that way. Hey guys, how y'all? So, coming back over here, now we got a better look at the floodgates itself right there. They usually leave them, leave them closed. But there's been a whole bunch of blah, blah, blah about taking this whole facility down. Like all of this up here. So they've been playing with the, all the other gates to see if they're still functional because the uh, Army Corps of Engineers is who owns this. So there's been a whole bunch of blah, blah, blah about taking it down or building a new facility. But the actual idea here is, you know, it, it controls the water over this way because back that way is the airport. So for the most part, I mean, eh, I think it's a waste of time if they take that down. It'll take away the beauty of what we got going on with the water. So, uh, I'm not fishing and I don't want to disturb everybody else. So, let's go reposition and I'll tell you a couple other things about this place. Look at that turtle right there. Right there. I think he has the best spot in the house. He dang, I'm sure, holding on to life, though. He ain't got to worry about nothing coming up in there and trying to eat him, at least. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, wow, he zooms in there. Getting back to, a, to another little spot here. There's plenty of shade over this way. And I mean, personally, I do like to ride this way. It's not crazy. Plenty to see, a lot of greenery. There's no, no real big hills, but uh, sometimes it can get challenging, but it's just nice. It's really nice and quiet. You know what I mean? So that quiet and tranquility is something I value. I mean, there aren't that many cars. There isn't a lot of people. And I just think it's peaceful. Like it's really, really nice. All right, time you get in, time you get in the sun, you end up right back in the shade. And a lot of people just like to come out here and sit in their cars and chill. For one, I like to ride back here. Like when it's freaking 95, like it is now, 97. This is doable. I mean, I think it's I think it's tolerable. And besides, uh, why would you not want to come back this way? Incredibly, incredibly good fishing out here. And I tell you, like over here, in this direction right here, people actually come bring their boats up here, which is right here. This is the boat ramp. We come in, and back down that way, I think you can get to South Carolina. I know one of these parts actually takes you to Savannah, too. But uh, this right here, is that not some of the most... Uh oh can I step on something? Oh, all right. Is that some, some incredible scenage or what? I mean, look at that. Now, they got it cut off right there, but I'll tell you a little fishing secret. If you go just enough to where the greenery is right there, and, oh, wow, what is that flying around me? Go away. If you uh, go just enough to where the greenery is right there, and over here, 
that's kind of where some of the big fish like to hang out at. And every once in a while, you can see them jump out. But a lot of people like to come and just like ride back through there. And one of these days, I'm actually just going to bring a kayak out here and we'll go back there. Welcome back, guys. So I wanted to reposition. And I think I'm a little zoomed in, but I'll fix it in just a second. There we go. We're going to ride up to uh, Fantasy Swamp. And over here is the airport. You may or may not see something take off and land. But uh, we're going to go to Fantasy Swamp as well. You know, we're just leaving Lock and Dam. I want to show you something over here. And, you know, it's nothing to just take the road and come up and... Yep, oh, we're here. Fantasy Swamp. Ah. All right. Let's go down in here. So, we've made it to the nature reserve. And this is called Fantasy Swamp. I actually... I want you to see something. This is actually one of the marshes where you may or may not catch an alligator over this way. Let me see. That's actually where you might see a couple of them floating at. This is all fresh water, believe it or not. Right in here. Sometimes you can catch them, sometimes you can't. It just all depends on where you're at. Uh, here, come on, let's go to the other side over here. And uh, forgive me, I might get a little loud. Oh, look, 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 look right here. Look, you see him? You see him right there? Look at the, look at the white one. Okay, look right here. You see him? Isn't that incredible? Like I said, this is the marsh area. Oh, he's taking off. Wow. <laughs> oh man. That is, that just gets me excited to see that. All right, come on, let me show you something else. I wanna show you some of the trailheads down this way too. You know, just, just so you can see a little bit of everything. All right, let's take the scenic route. Ew. 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 Ah. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I better be careful before I, I fuck around and fall. <laughs> Falling out here, not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Welcome to the scenic route, people. Isn't that beautiful? And we're just cruising nonetheless. I think this will take us to the visiting center. Nice, nice. Ugh. Wonder if we'll see some creatures back here. But this will definitely take us to the visiting center. I know that for sure. Oh wow, it's a little damp back here. That's a drought. That's not good. All right. Oh, it did. We're at the visitor center. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Let's park and have a look inside. Oh, wow. Let's go inside. Let's. Let's we'll see what we got in here. Hey, how are hey, you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. I'm finna oh, show my audience a little thing about Fantasy Swamp. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to get in y'all's way. Let me move on out of the way. Okay. So, now I'm looking at you coming to the visitor center and uh, get drinks, snacks, 
souvenirs and toys for other kitties, of course. Oh, wait. Toys for the kitties. <laughs> but there's also a lot to be seen around here. Perfect view. And there's even a little taxidermy here. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And those guys. Fly fishing. Yeah. Man, I oh, wait. Really turn Look at these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Those are real ducks. Or they were real ducks. <laughs> so, uh, well, aside from the visitor center, it's a pretty good spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's reposition. I'll show you something else. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Here, follow me. Man, it's hot. Check that out. Okay, set that down. Stay. So, we've made it to the playground over here in the swamp section and let me tell you, this is absolutely classic. There's so much for little kids to do back here. I say this is storytelling right here. And of course, pictures, more storytelling. Or if I got it, let me see, if I got this right, you get up here and... <laughs> oh, this is, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Ugh. And your balance. Ugh. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be doing that anytime soon. So, aside from the different things to do out here and the different activities, there's like plenty of nature to be seen out this way. Part of the path I was telling you guys about where a lot of people don't think any of this is back here. And this is where it does get a little scary because, well, at this point, we're in, we're in the swamp. So, it's kind of like, ride slow, don't overdo it, pay attention to what's going on around you. Ooh, we would, yeah, we would have fell through that. Okay. So you don't ride fast back here because you never know. Oh, did you see that big old dragonfly? You never know what you're going to see. And the fun part about it is you don't know what you're going to see. So you want to be careful. But the path back here is just incredible, isn't it? Yo! <laughs> yeah, we're, we're deep in. Just, oh, you hear that? Oh yeah, we're in here. Just so you can see. All right. I don't know what, what that is. Well, there's more path. Here, let's get on down to the end of it. Well, we made it back to the road. And now, we're on our way back to the truck. Whew. I gotta say, we had a great day though. Had a great ride. So, uh, I'm gonna end it right here. Because, uh, well, it's time for dialysis. And well, you know my thing. There's nothing you can't do. Just because you have disabilities doesn't mean you can't do it. We did it. And look, we still gotta be the treatment. On that note, thanks for riding with me.